One of the most important things is to create an engine, a platform that will not only touch digital merchandising, but conversation that the um, customers are having with the dealerships and to create more personalized and um, um, and human-like um, element to it. So that, that's the main goal of ours. All right, we are here. It feels like in the middle of a party. We're at uh, the formerly known as Spin Car. We'll talk about the name change in a second. We got music blasting from back to here. But I'm here with my friend Sopo. We're going to talk about the energy in this booth and what dealers are uh, focused on and thinking and how you're helping them do that. Thanks so much for giving us some of your time Yeah, today. thank you for coming over. It's always nice to be around you. <laughs> okay, so why don't you just, uh, for the people who don't know, uh, let, let them know who you are, what your role is in the company, and then tell us about the name change. Yeah, sure. So I'm Sopo. I am VP of Operations at Spincar, well, um, Impel now. And before that, um, we basically um, were working on the conversational AI um, tool, and I joined the company um, together with my team members who basically start developing the conversational AI solutions. Okay, so um, why the name change? Yeah, because we do way more than just, you know, spinning cars, right? So we have grown and developed so much, and uh, the name now reflects everything that we do. We are, um, we're moving forward, and we strive to move forward, and that is, that is the name that now reflects everything that we do. Okay, so there's been a lot of energy at the show. Is this your first NADA? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, there's a ton of energy here. What has been your feeling for the dealers that have been coming through the booth? I always see the couches back here full um, of your team and dealers having a lot of conversations. You've probably been a part of a lot of them. Um, how are dealers, dealers feeling and thinking and approaching this, this yeah. time we're in? Um, well, that's a really good question. I feel like um, uh, NADA is a Super Bowl for automotive industry, it is, right? It is. It definitely <laughs> yeah. feels like that. And um, it's a glimpse of the future for all of our um, customers out there. So what we're bringing um, do, to NADA is new products and new solutions that we are working on and um, the customers are interested in learning more about it and I'm I'm really glad that I do see uh, people that just want to learn more and get a uh, get a great glimpse of what's um, next and they want to be a part of it which is really good and um, they are moving forward towards um, automation and they're moving towards um, digital uh, merchant merchandising which is really really interesting for them. So mm -hmm. um, that's not the first time I've heard that, that mm -hmm. dealers seem to have showed up at this show with an agenda, yes. right? They're not window shopping. They're not browsing. They actually come here and saying, like, I need to find solutions to this, this, and this. So um, that just resonates a lot of what I'm hearing around the show. Um, as far as the, the solutions that you have, what is the main problem that you're helping dealers fix? Like, if you were to pick one, what is the problem that dealers are wrestling through that you're saying, like, we can help you fix that? Yeah, so it has to do with um, doing mundane tasks that the salesperson or uh, anyone in the dealership is um, is now doing, and we are helping them to fix that. So, Give me some examples. Of what are yes. some of the mundane tasks? Yeah, so when we first, uh, for, uh, and I'm going to talk about the conversational AI standpoint, right? So when we started with sales AI, um, the leads that they were receiving, they would have to manually process those leads, and they were only working from, let's say, 9 to 8 or 9 to 7. Uh, with us, the problem that we um, solved is we now handle all their leads 24 7 and we so drive them to the store. It's 9 30 at night, somebody's shopping, someone yeah. has a question. Or maybe or they is working a on a night shift, right? right? Yeah, so we help them to um, um, get the most out of their leads and convert them to sales. And that is when we started, when we identified the problem and solved this problem for sales. And then we moved and um, uh, researched different um, different use cases. And one, and one of the use cases was for service. They have the similar situation. The customer purchased a vehicle, and um, we want to reach out to them with the initiatives to come back and get their first service done. Or if there's a recall on their on their car, they need to you know come and get it and so get that fixed. So you're saying the AI takes care of reaching out, knowing when to go, what to yes. say. Yes, it follows up on always on time and um, uses all the channels that they have um, to get them to engage and mm -hmm. convert. So I know that there is some hesitancy around deploying AI to do these things because the, the counter argument could be 
well, it doesn't have the human touch, or I'm nervous to hand it over to the AI because I feel like, what if, what if yeah. it feels bad? So what is your response to yeah. that, to dealers who might be thinking and feeling that hesitancy? Yeah, I do understand the point. We don't want to replace the sales personnel. We want to enhance their efficiency of work. And um, one of the conversations, so our conversations are so human alike. Um, our assistants get asked uh, for a date, for instance. Like I saw, <laughs> like I saw it with my own eyes. I could not believe it. Um, they come to the store. They ask for the virtual assistant. Like so. So how did how did oh they come to the store? They ask for yeah. the assistant they were chatting with yes. online. Yes. So it's very human like, and it's very important to develop the product, right? So. Um, based on the conversations that we've had, like millions of conversations that we already had with our customers, um, our solutions in, is enhancing each and every day. So we want to make sure that the conversations are human alike, and we want to make sure that the salesperson feels comfortable using it because they can take over any time. And you know, one of the last projects that we've been working on, which we now just introduced um, uh, at NADA, was F&I Pursuit. So similarly, there's an issue, right? So um, if a uh, customer is interested in um, uh, vehicle service contracts, right, we reach out to them uh, once the deal is closed, and we want them to provide an exceptional experience when they're um, uh, when they would like to, let's say, purchase F&I um, uh, products. So we help the dealers to. Um, sell more F&I products and I feel like uh, with uh, with the messaging and the initiatives that we do, um, we help the dealers to um, get more um, ROI. Okay, so um, in closing, we're in 2022, we have a good runway, there's a lot of change and transition. What is one of the, the primary focus of, of what you're doing in your work within Impel? Yeah, so I think one of the most important things is to create an engine, a platform that will not only touch digital merchandising, but conversation that the um, customers are having with the dealerships and to create more personalized and um, um, and human-like um, element to it. So that that's the main goal of ours. Well, to, yes. <laughs> so, well, thank you for spending a few minutes. Uh, congratulations on the name change. Congratulations yes. on all the integrations that you're working on. And... Uh, Keep working for dealers and keep yeah. going forward. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.